There he is. The darkness of night brings with it the awakening of many rainforest creatures. And on the Caribbean side of Costa Rica, one of the most iconic amphibians in Central America is out on the hunt for its next meal. It's two o'clock in the morning. We have been out here for hours looking for what is supposed to be one of the most common species of tree frog here in Costa Rica. We found all sorts of frog species, just not the one that we're actually after for this episode. And at the right time of year, specifically during the rainy season, these frogs descend from the treetops and can be found near permanent or temporary bodies of water where they have come to lay their eggs. Right there. Those are tree frog eggs. Look at that cluster. How cool is that? There are many species of frogs in the rainforest you can happen upon, and some of them, like the gliding leaf frog, also have red eyes. That, oh, gotta move slowly, is a gliding leaf frog. Look at you. Pretty good size, too. This isn't a boreal species. You usually find them high up in the trees. And they're called gliding leaf frogs because they use the momentum of their bodies. They jump from higher heights down to lower heights. Look at that. That is one cool looking frog. All right, search for the red eyed tree frog continues. Our search didn't take us much further, when sure enough, we finally came upon the amphibian we had all hoped to finally get in front of the cameras. You're not gonna believe it. There's actually one right here on this leaf. Where? Look at that. There is the red-eyed tree frog curled up in a little ball. I'm gonna cough my light. Bring that, that light a little sure? bit closer. 100%. Oh my gosh. We have been looking for hours for this frog and sure enough, there it is, completely camouflaged. Now you'll notice, I'm gonna tilt it a little bit. Mark, you see the eyeball there? See that reticulated pattern? Now the frog can see us through that. You see, it almost looks like gold spider webbing, but it thinks it's completely hidden. It's got its toes tucked under, the coloration on the side of its body tucked under, and if you didn't know what you were looking for, it just looks like a bump on that leaf. All right, here we go, you ready? Look at that, he's just like saying to himself, oh, you guys can't see me. Gotcha, be really gentle. There it is, the red-eyed tree frog, the most famous frog species here in Costa Rica. You gonna wake up for us? Oh, look at those eyes. Hi, how are you? I know that everybody out there watching has been asking to see this frog since we made our first trip to Costa Rica. Now, when we were on the West Coast, these frogs do live there, but they were all high up in the trees because it was the dry season. Now here on the East Coast, we have a lot of rains that have pushed through and, oh. don't, no, not in my mouth. Okay, well, in this instance, you just kind of go with it. I do have to be careful because these frogs can excrete a toxin from their skin. Don't want to get that in my mouth or my eyes. Here we go. Why don't we bring you up here on my hand and let's get you up close for the camera and get some interesting facts. How cool is this? How excited are you? We finally found one. Yes. Okay. Now the common name for this frog is the red-eyed tree frog. However, it's technically a red-eyed leaf frog and that is because it is an arboreal species, which means that they live high up in the treetops. Hence the name leaf frogs. They are always hanging out on leaves or like this. As you can see, they're really good at jumping and really good at climbing. And now it's on my hat. Is it still right there? Yeah, it is. Let me see if I can grab it off. Okay, see if you can just kind of get it and bring it back down here onto my hand, Mark. You got him? There we go. Oh, there you go, little guy. Now that leaping ability is excellent when it comes to escaping from predators. Look at that. Look how long those legs are. Now how do they grip? Those sticky pads, and they are so incredibly sticky. I can feel it every time he moves himself around on my fingertip or my hand. They secrete this mucus from the tips of their fingers. It's almost like a temporary glue that allows them to move from leaf to leaf, or if they leap across a wide expanse, they can just whap, land onto something, and they will stick. All right, let's take a real good look at this frog's eyes, because if there's one thing that this frog is iconic for, it is those reddish-orange eyes. 
they're enormous as compared to the size of this frog's head. And that is because this is a nocturnal species. This allows the frog to be able to see its prey when it's out there hunting at night. Now, this is a male. I can tell that because the males are significantly smaller than the females and Ooh, what you guys cannot smell is that right now it's actually secreting a toxin from its skin. Now, this frog just does not really want to cooperate, does it? No. He really wants to crawl on my face. Okay, uh, back on the leaf. All right, let's see if I can do this. This amphibian is going to be much more comfortable if I actually keep it on a leaf like that. Now, there is a perfect example of this animal's camouflage. He's like, you can't see me, but we can. Let me see if I can get him right up on the edge of the leaf. Like that. Do not jump on my face again. Wow. Very cool. Now, these frogs are insectivores, which means that they eat bugs. And they're opportunistic. So any mosquito or moth or little flying creature that comes across its path when it's sitting here on a leaf is fair game. Okay, now I do know that this is a male, and the way that I'm at least guessing is because the males are significantly smaller than the females. But both males and females have the exact same color patterns on their bodies. However, for males to attract females here in the rainforest, what they'll do is actually bounce up and down on the leaves, shaking the leaves, informing the females that they're there and they're available for breeding. How cool is that? That's an interesting little dating tactic that you have. Well, I think he kind of wants to go back up in the trees. I think he does. And we have hung out with this frog for quite a while now. And I think at this juncture, it's probably a good idea to get it back off into the rainforest so it can continue hunting. But what an expedition, spending hours out here at night and finally coming across the red-eyed leaf frog. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, well, let's let this guy back into the rainforest. The red-eyed leaf frog has long been one of my most admired amphibians, and getting to film them in a completely natural setting was one frog encounter that I will always remember. If you thought the red-eyed leaf frog was colorful, make sure to go back and watch my expedition onto the Osa Peninsula, where we got up close with the granular poison frog. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.